This video is all about solving this simultaneous equation where you have xy plus x equal to 60 and xy plus y equal to 63. Now, this is a simultaneous equation. So well, before we start, let me use this medium to appreciate my subscribers, both old and new, and also appreciate my, my viewers. Please, um, my viewers, you can subscribe, like, you can subscribe, like, comment, and share this video, please. So, let's begin. Now you have, okay, let me change this to white. I like making use of white. X, Y plus X is equal to 60. That is equation 1. Now we have x y plus y equal to 63. That is equation 2. Now, what we're going to do now is say subtract equation 1. Subtract equation 2 from equation 1. Now, the reason why I'm subtracting is because you have this, they are common, they are the same. So, you work it based on the way you do simultaneous equations. So, what you do is say xy plus x minus xy plus y. So, this is 60. This is now, this one will now be minus 63. So if you subtract xy minus xy, you give the cancel out. So now you have x minus y. So you have x minus y on the left hand side. Then on the right hand side, you have 60 minus 63. So this will now give us x minus y is equal to what? 3. Equal to minus 3, sorry. Now, this is equation 3. Now, since we have gotten equation 3, we need to now make x the subject formula. To make x the subject formula, we add, we add, add plus y to both sides. Of the equation of equation three. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to do now is we say x minus y is equal to minus three. So if you add plus y to both sides of the equation, so now you now have here x. So minus y plus y will give you zero. So now you have plus y, which is let me just say y minus 3, minus 3, there is an imaginary plus here, so we now have what we call equation 4, which is x equal to y minus 3, so now, now substituting x equal to y minus 3 into equation 2 we now have y minus 3 times y okay let me just write the equation you have x y plus y go to 63 which is equation 2 now if you, if you wherever you see x you substitute y minus 3 which is this I substituted y minus 3 plus y equal to 63 so Open up this bracket. You now use this to multiply this. You have y square. Use y to multiply minus 3. You have minus 3y plus y equal to 63. So you have y square minus 3 plus y. You give you minus 2y, which is equal to what? 63. Equal to 63. Then now that means y square minus 2y. Is equal to 63. Let's see. Let's go back again. Okay. Now, 
what we're go, go, what we are going to do we add we say adding minus 63 what to both sides so now if we add minus 63 to both sides we have y square minus 2y equal to 63 we now add minus 63 to both sides now if you add minus 63 to this side to the left hand side you have y square minus 2y minus 63 equal to 63 minus 63 minus 63 will give you zero so we now have we, have, we now have quadratic equation to solve this we can now use by factor this is so now we can now say we have y this is y this is y that is the factors of y square is y and y so now when i look at the factors of 63 minus 63 that will, when you add them to give you minus um, give you minus 20 minus 2y now if you say 20 um, 60 63 3 times 21 that will not if you add them it will not give you that now 9 times 7 if you add it it will not give you but minus 9 times plus 7 will give you if you add minus 9 minus 9 if you add minus 9 plus 7 to give you minus 2 so you have you have minus 9 and plus 7 equal to 0 so that is how to factor it now so what happened done this we now know that since the product of this expression and this expression is equal to zero that means either this or this value is equal to zero either y minus nine is equal to zero or y plus seven is equal to zero so if you move minus nine to this other side you have y equal to nine or you move plus 7 to this other side you have y equal to minus 7 now now for y equal to 9 you have x equal to y minus 3 from equation from equation 4 let me just write it from equation 4. We have x equal to y minus 9. So if you add, if you put 9 here now, minus 3. So 9 minus 3 will give you 6. So that means you have, you have um, x equal to 6. Now for this, for y equal to minus 7 so from from equation 4 again x is equal to y minus 3 so if you say if, if you now say you have y to be minus 7 so if you add minus 7 minus 3 so you have minus 10 so x is equal to minus 10 that means at this point where the two equations intersect is at minus 10 minus 7 so this other place where the equation is at is 6 and 9 so this is the coordinates where this is the coordinates where they intersect now let's cross check with this coordinates whether it works now you have x y plus x equal to 60 and the other one you have x y plus y equal to 63 now let's check for coordinate x y which is 6 and 9 so now if you substitute 6 and 9 6 times 9 plus 6 will give you plus 6 will give you 50 this will give you 54 plus 6 which is 60 now if you check x y coordinate x y which where you have minus 
10 and minus 7. Now, if you say minus 10 times minus 7, and then minus 10, you now have 70 minus 10, which is 60. So, proves. Then, now let's check this other one. For here, you have 6 times 9 plus 9, which is 54 plus 9, which is 63. Now, for this, you have minus 10 times minus 7 plus plus minus 7. This will give you 70 minus 7, which is 63. So that is it. So we have verified. We have verified the solution. So now, thank you for watching till the end. Have a nice day. Thank you.